Yo what's up guys and again back for another After Effects editing tutorial and in this video I'll be teaching you guys how to make this cool teleport effect. I've been seeing a lot of directors do scenes like this and I figured editors would love to figure out how to execute the effect and use it on those videos. So without further ado, make sure you guys leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new and before we start, make sure you guys do have the Sapphire plugin installed into your After Effects to execute this effect properly. But I'm sure you guys already have that plugin installed. So yeah, let's get your clip and jump right into the tutorial. Good morning. As we jump right into this composition, I do have my clip set out already. Basically, I have my two clips. So um, the first clip is him up close to the camera, and second clip is him farther back. Right here is where the clip splits. So I'm gonna place a marker. Now I have my cuts already. I like to do four frames for the teleport effect, and then three frames before building up to it. So you know I have my cuts already. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rotor brush my subjects out. So now what I like to do is copy and paste my layer that I'm going to roto out and roto out my subjects. Also, if you don't know how to roto, I do have a how to roto tutorial that you guys can watch. Look at it right there. Go click the link and go watch that if you don't know how to roto. So now that our subjects are rotoed out, we're going to start with a nice build up first. So right here, three frames one two three we're going to duplicate it once again and on the top is going to be our glow now you can use either there's several glows you can use bcc film glow s underscore glow optical glow deep glow whatever you choose for this i'm going to use deep glow and you see it glows my whole subject now what i'm going to do is do a tint i like to i'm going to the color i'm the color i'm going to use will be blue for this tutorial and we'll just simply bump that up to the max which is 10 I'm going to keyframe it hit U on my keyboard to open up the, you know, the keyframes right here, drag that to the end, and at the start of this clip, change it to zero. So it's basically, you know, going like that. Now, if we want it to go in slower, even though it's only three frames, we can obviously easy ease the keyframe and put this yellow marker down. As you see, it slows in and then goes in fast. Even those three frames, you do see a difference. So now for the second layer, what we're gonna do is search warp, and we're gonna go down to S underscore warp puff, and apply that to your second layer now this is what you're going to be prompt with i'm going to disable the first layer so we can see what we're working with basically it's very distorted and warped around kind of duplicating his eyes and his face all around now we're going to mess with this to our liking now this type of effect where it's like a it goes over the character so if we enable this you see it goes around him this is what we'd want now we can obviously change that we can change how it looks turning up and down the amount Messing with the rotation warp just um, directions we're gonna keep it about here and you can also change it from puff or shrivel we're gonna keep it to puff reflect off both reflects are off so now we're going to animate the amount zero and go to the last frame and change it to the amount you like so which is 1.10 now put that to the end and you'll get something like this now we can duplicate the layer again to do our third effect or we can keep it on the second layer and apply it above the warp puff. Now this is completely up to you, personal preference. What you really want to do is mess around with the frequency and amplitudes. Now the frequencies is going to apply more of that warp distortness and the amplitude will just like, you know, enlarge it. And you don't really want a lot of that. You kind of want it to be around 0.1 to 0.3 and the frequencies are what you want to play with the most. Now, after you got what you like, if you feel like you want to have the warp puff look as well on it, we can just obviously duplicate it, disable the warp bubble on the third layer and disable the warp puff on the second layer and you have something like this. Uh, let's put it back under. Now what we can do with the warp bubble, we can, now that we don't really see it much, we can also enlarge it so you get this effect. We have to animate it firstly. So after you've done with the warp bubble amplitude and frequencies, all you want to do is keyframe both A amplitude and B amplitude. Drag those two keyframes to the end of the clip, go to the start and make them both zero. So now you have something like this, which is looking nice. You also, now what we want to do, we have we want to have that blue color effect because he's teleporting. So we want that nice blue effect while he's teleporting. So what we can do is go to S underscore tritone which is a type of tint and we can apply it to both layers change that from gray to any blue you like it's pretty cool a nice tube mixture of blues obviously you don't have to follow me you can choose any color you'd like now what we can do we can also add particles it's really up to you now 
what I'm going to do is apply that overlay. It's basically a spark overlay. So we're going to cut that, put it down, cut it like that, cut it to the length. And it is kind of slow. So what we're going to do is time remap it. So enable time remap, enable a keyframe, go towards the end of the clip and, and uh, fast forward it until it's kind of dissolved. Put that towards the end and move the beginning to the start. Since it's building up, you know, it's from zero to 100 basically. So now what we want to do is center this and right click on the clip blending mode and screen. It removes the black solid and all you get is the particles. We'll add tritone again, it's blue, look at that. And we'd also add a glow onto the particles so it can be like, it can pop out more. What we're going to add now is a warp onto the main subject, which is above. And that'll be an, a quick and simple, it'll be one frame of a warp bubble to furthermore and sell it. So what we're going to do is mess with this so both amplitudes we're gonna leave this on this frame go one frame back and make this zero and zero so basically what you're gonna see is one frame and then it's gone and i will be leaving these presets down below for you guys so you're welcome this will be a free preset for you guys you don't have to do it on your own but if you'd like to learn it and do it on your own feel free to so now basically after we've done that, all we got to do is do the same thing we've done from the build up until the actual like ending of the teleport. Hit War Bubble to select both. And now you want to copy and paste it to the first layer of the second clip. Now, as you see, it's building up again. We don't want that. What we're going to do is move the first keyframes to the end and the ending keyframes to the front. We're going to do that with everything. As you see here, look at that first. First layer is done. Second layer uh, is the warp bubble. Copy, paste to the second layer. Move that from the front to the end and to the front. Third layer, warp puff, end, front. But now you're noticing that since it's a smaller subject, all the warps look a lot weirder. So what we're going to do is tweak it so it matches with the size of the original subject. So we'll just go into the warp bubble, turn down the frequencies and turn down the amplitude as well. Just by a little bit. And same with the warp puff. What we're going to do is turn it down a little bit. And with this warp bubble in the first keyframe, um, we can honestly up it a little bit. Also. Don't forget the particles, put that underneath your subject and change the time map from the front to end. So yeah, after doing all that, this is what you'll be left with. A nice cool little teleport effect for you to use for your videos in the future. Now, if you do want to spice it up, obviously you can apply a shake. So yeah, that about wraps up this teleport effect that I made. All presets will be left down below in the description. I'll leave the project file actually so you guys can save it yourself. But yeah, that'll be it for this video. If you guys have any ideas or tutorials you'd like you'd like to see from me in the future, please leave them down below. Message me on Instagram, tap in with me, be editing music videos all day. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next video.